Hello, viewers. This is Rise. Welcome back to uh, Let's Play Wild Arms 2. Well, today, um, we're going to be ambushed by someone, apparently. Who created this uh, place? Let's find out today. Death in the Dimension Interval and Rot? Who's talking? Oh. Oh, it's Kana. The only one we haven't fought yet. Ah. A green light? What the hell? Why are we playing red light, green light? Ah, whatever. That's a weird translation choice, but... This is Kana. She is not a pushover. <clears throat> Yes, she fights with a key. She's the Keyblade Master. No, no, not quite. Um, uh, Kana's very similar to Antonora. Um, the only attack... Well... Okay. Oh yeah, Kana did that. We already knew that. Go Super Saiyan! What does the scouter say about his power level? It's, um, over 9,000. Alright, um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and, uh, pickpocket Kana. Steal another war respite from her. Uh, let's see. Now, first, let's check my equipment here. Yep, I want to protect against ability block and downhearted, as well as poison. Good. That's why I didn't change up that up. Kana has an attack called uh, Gates of Isolde, which deals around 500 to everybody and can cause poison, ability blocks, sleep, and downhearted. Not nice. Even her normal attack is around 400, so if she counters, she can kick your ass. Um, and she's got 40 Hypo Blast, which is a magic-based attack, which is why I'm going to move Fangalon over to Tim for stealing purposes. And I'm actually going to cast Protect on Ashley. Bolt action and pickpocket. Yeah, 40 hypo blast is pretty strong. It's about a thousand damage to a single character. 900 to a thousand. Not too bad, but something to be worried about, I suppose. Wow. Yeah, she's uh, not a pushover. Oh, come on, Ashley. She's not quite as hard as Antonora, but... Kana's still no joke. Alright, we got her. Okay, so I'll go back to uh, Odurup now and uh, cast another Protect on Ashley. Actually, I'll protect the whole party, I suppose. Protect on Tim. And let's go ahead and... Oops. Go ahead and uh, equip Odurup here. Alright, now let's uh, protect. Bolt action and first aid. I'm not going to be relying on Ashley for the second boss battle, so I'll show off a different strategy I have in mind. Can is pretty slow, so I wouldn't worry about that. Don't want to waste your slow crest cap here. Well, she's faster than Ashley. Holy crap! I just got my ass kicked. That's not good. Um, what the hell am I going to do now? Oh, boy. Um, restore. Oh, man. This is not good. Abilities are blocked. Well, I guess I have to guard. I can't do anything else. I just hit a stream of bad luck there. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't really care about downhearted too much. Um, as long as I can cast protect. You know, I would like to cast something else, but, well, I can't. Let's restore that. Um, let's go ahead and use another bolt action. And I'm actually going to FP shift here. 
the reason I'm restoring um, Loka from uh, Downhearted is because I'm not sure if FP Shift would override that or not. I don't know. Ah, crap. She's going to be a mean one today. Ah, crap. She put me to sleep. That's no good. Ah, well. Yeah, hit Kana with a missile. That'll do the trick. If I can, I'll use um, a high-level spell on her, but... You know, I'm asleep. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, yeah, I guess my last bolt action and uh, first aid. Nothing else I can do. FP ship didn't do crap. What the hell? Ah, whatever. Wow, that only dealt 700. Oh, I got protect on him. That's why. Buffing is actually much better in a Wild Arms 3. Well, I guess, um... Dead or alive now. Another first aid. She's being, uh... Quite the, uh... Pain in the ass today. Oh, well. She's not a joke. I'll put it, I'll put it that way. There we go. That should do it. No, nope, one more turn. Um, oh good. Um, I can get a protect off on look, I suppose. Dead or alive, and I'm gonna cast Napalm Hit. It doesn't matter. All right, Ashley, finish her off. Oh, good. I thought she. I thought he whiffed her. Come on, Tim. Get her? No, not quite. She's got a lot of HP. She's got seven thousand. I don't know. Whatever. Just cast uh, anything. Um, Dead or alive. And plasma trap. Why not? Oduruk would actually restore your status, um, so you can summon that if you cared. I don't really care too much. Did I get her? Got her. Alright. Level up? No, not quite. Mental Convergence? Oh. Thank you for spoiling it with, uh, your thought bubbles there. Yeah. Like all good villains, she teleports away. Yeah, we kind of got to take this place out, don't we? That battle took way too long. Eh, whatever. Oh, crap. Um. Yeah, let's, uh, restore status, I guess. Set it. Yeah, I can go back and, uh, equip... Sign. Actually, no, no, that's fine. Where it is? There we go. And uh, I'll take a pause break and uh, be right back. All right, let's uh, let's head over to the east now. We should be able to enter this room. All right, this is a puzzle, but it's not too hard. Um, let's just go down to this warp device here. Oh man, I wanted to fight that. Oh well. And uh, now we just want to uh, jump down right here. And uh, that's the solution. It's very simple. And now we have this. This room is hell. So much so. No, I can get through it. I'll uh, just take a pause break here. All right. Um, all we have to do here, it's actually very simple. Um, we just have to head down here and take the northernmost warp. All right. Should I grind a little bit? No. 
No. Alright, well, let's just go in here and, uh... Yeah, yeah, bash it. That'll work. Yeah, let's take it out. But before we do that, let's, uh, let's heal up. Just in case, you know, a certain really hard boss shows up for a rematch. Alright, well, still more to this room, unfortunately. We have to take out all three of those. There's no point in me fighting any more of these enemies. <laughs> That's why I healed up. But, um, next time we'll finish this room and, uh, that'll be it. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.